Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I have the last beer from my beer trade with Wayne from Bucks County Beer Reviews. And the beer I have here is The Illusionist from Forgotten Boardwalk out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And this is a India Pale Ale brewed with Citra and Cascade Hops with Phantasm Powder. I probably should have looked that up before I started this video, but it's too late now. 6.9% alcohol by volume. It's a 16 ounce can. Can's cool. I said before with the other one I had from him, I really like that Three Eyed Cat. But this can's got some cool artwork on the back as well. And up right here, it says Howard in parentheses. I don't know if that is the artist or what that is. But it's a really cool looking can. And every time I hear The Illusionist, I think of Eisenheim, The Illusionist. It's a movie that came out quite a few years ago. I really enjoyed that movie. So every time I hear The Illusionist, that's what I think of. So like I said, this beer was from Wayne from Bucks County Beer Reviews. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Look forward to doing some more beer trades with you in the future. This is probably going to be one of the last beers I review at home before I hit the road. So we'll get, get right into it. Wow. Keep tripping over your words, dummy. This gets a 3.81 on Untapped with 145 check-ins, and there was nothing to speak of on Beer Advocate. Pouring that out. Big, white, fizzy head. Starting to dissipate already. And that's kind of cloudy. There's a lot of, lot of carbonation in there. Uh, my SRMs, I'll, I'll go back to my SRM chart from the winemaker shop. And that's probably holding up to the light. I know I spoke about this before, and the beers always look darker on the videos than they do from my perspective. And I was having a little chat with a couple other beer reviewers, and, and, and I realized one of them said, part of that is because all the lighting is there facing me. So I'm looking at the beer into the light, but when you see it, you're looking this way and there's no light behind it. That's why these beers look darker a lot of times in the videos and the SRMs might not match up from when you're looking at the video. And that was a whole lot of talk about SRMs. So I'm just going to say this is probably about a four and move right along. I'll get my big nose in here and see what I can smell. Kind of some grassy hops, like like lemongrass. And that's about it. Just some, some faint, light lemongrass smells. So I guess I should get into this, right? Probably already talked too long. Everybody's tuned out. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. It's really been a pleasure trading beers with you. Cheers, everybody. Medium bodied, a little bit of viscousness in there, getting some of that carbonation, effervescence in the mouthfeel. It's, it's, you kind of get some fruity, or you, you get some just almost bland bitterness up front, and then it just explodes into like, some nice fruity notes, like fruity, citrusy. Almost a fruit character, like a like fruit bowl character. But initially, when it first hits your mouth, a little bit of like just generic bitterness, and it just opens up into some like like a fruit bowl kind of flavor. And then you get some of that, that uh, still get a lot of carbonation. Yeah, a lot of carbonation in the mouthfeel. But that's a lot a lot more fruity, like fruit bowl fruity than I expected.
I mean, this is, I think there's a little too much carbonation in this, but it doesn't detract from the beer that much. And maybe if I let it sit for a minute or two, some of that carbonation would die out. Or if I uh, had a syringe like Don has from Don's Beer Reviews and knocked out some of that carbonation, it would really bring out some more of those fruit flavors. Overall, it's a good beer. I would drink it again. Big horns up. Forgotten, forgotten Boardwalk from Cherry Hill. Did a good job with The Illusionist. Thank you once again, Wayne. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the trade. Look forward to doing another one. I hope you all look forward to me doing another video. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Have you been to the Forgotten Boardwalk? If you have, let me know. And as always, embrace the adventure.